Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about the Polygon tool. So we're working our way through all the commands in SketchUp for iPad, and the next drawing tool we have on the list is Polygon tool. Let's take a look at how to use it right now. Okay, so the first thing to point out is SketchUp or the, the Polygon tool is not actually in the default toolbar. It's here in the default toolbar. Here we have uh, rectangle and circle, but Polygon's not here. It is in the overflow menu. So if you just tap the little dot, dot, dot at the bottom, you can turn on Polygon tool. And of course, you can customize and add that if you want. We talked about that in one of the first videos uh, about the toolbar. What we're going to look at here is how the Polygon tool works. And we're going to go in and basically just draw a bunch of polygons all over the place. That's the plan. Uh, we're going to take a look at how to input it with each device first. So right now I'm using a pencil. My pencil is currently set to just draw mode. So we're going to look at drawing a polygon with the pencil in just draw mode. So when I come in here to draw, it's pretty simple. I'm going to tap the pencil where I want the center. I'm going to drag the edge out and release it. That gives me a polygon. At this point, after drawing it, I have some options. I can come in here and I can give it an exact radius. If I want it to be four foot, I put four foot enter. And that's exactly four foot radius. That's from the center to the outside edge. I can also hit the plus and minus over here. So I can decrease down to three or I can increase up to, well, that can go up to 999. So I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to show you. Just trust me, you can get there. Uh, but I can make that change afterwards. Super easy, super quick way to do it. Uh, one of the things I did not mention there is right here below the plus and minus sides, I have this option of toggling circumscribed on. So let me show you how that works real, real quick, just to show you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a polygon and see when I get out here, see that circle is on the inside of the polygon? Now watch if I turn it off and drag another one out. The circle's on the outside of the polygon. So that's what that does. It says that that dimension, that inscribed radius from the center to the edge is either to basically the flat edge, if it's on the inside, or the outside corner, if the circle's on the outside. So you're basically drawing the equivalent of a circle, same way the circle works, but in the end, it's gonna throw a polygon in there based on that circle, limits of that circle. All right, let's look at some other ways to do this. If I flip over to click, move, click, Let's draw another polygon and let's also while we're doing that let's talk about these uh constraints here uh, on sketchup pro these are the arrow keys so i would right left up down uh, i'm gonna go ahead and tap on the red when i do that look what happens so i get my little preview and it's it's locked to the red axis so when i come in here with click move click click move click i'm going to hard press to start drag out and hard press to end and you see, because it was on the red axis, it drew it, so it's up against that side. Let's talk about some other ways to do this. Let's, let's do one with touch. Just gonna use my finger here. I'm gonna turn on the green axis this time, and you can see the preview locks to that axis. Same, very similar to uh, click, move, click. I'm going to long press, and then drag out, and long pr hard press again. I said long press, hard press. And that's gonna give me another one locked to that axis. Let's go ahead and switch to blue and I'll put one in with my mouse here. Okay, so blue, I'm currently constrained to the blue axis. This is not quite as exciting because the ones I drew on the ground were already here, but this is going to, no matter where I go, it's not going to snap to anything else. It's going to draw on the bottom uh, or flat to the blue axis. If I click, it's very simple, similar. A lot of times the mouse commands end up being very similar to what I'd see on SketchUp Pro. I'm going to click, move, click and that gives me that one. All right, the final uh, option I have on here, I'm gonna get rid of this mouse, come back to the pencil. The final option I have on here is the pink axis. The pink axis actually says snap parallel to another uh, surface, basically. So you can see what that did there, The it's snapping to this axis that I was on there before. This is obviously parallel to the blue, but if it were up at an angle, something like that, that's how I would make, if I was drawing this polygon like onto a roof or something like that, I would use the pink axis and then that would follow the tilt of that roof. So pretty simple. The last button on here, a little mortar board, that's the, uh, 
the help icon. If I click on that, I'll get a short help video that'll pop up and tell me, you know, just the quick tips. Basically what we covered here, but a lot quicker, uh, just in about 30 seconds, the basics of what you need to know. This hopefully gave you more than just, just what you need to know and gave you kind of all the information you would need to use the Polygon tool inside of SketchUp for iPad. So like I said, that's everything I could think of that you might need to know in order to use SketchUp for iPad. Uh, it does work very similar to SketchUp Pro, the difference being those modifier keys you click up front rather than as you're drawing. Um, and that that inside, inside or outside the circle, you can actually toggle that while you're drawing on Pro in the SketchUp for iPad you set it ahead of time. Um, but my favorite thing about that one is that increasing, increasing, I know you can do it on Pro too, but there's something about tapping the little icons to increase or decrease the number of sides. I like that, it's fun. I'm a simple guy that way. Uh, hopefully you like that. If so, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment. What do you think of the Polygon tool on SketchUp for iPad? We like making these videos a lot. We like even more when showing something you wanna see. Thank you.